What's up guys, Beanage Gamer here, and I am back with some more Minecraft 2, Minecraft 2, no, Minecraft Season 2, Story Mode that is, Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, we are going to get into Episode 4, Below the Bedrock. Now, in the last episode, if you uh, don't know what happened with the last episode, well, uh, you can watch it on my channel, it's, uh, it's great. In episode 3, Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, it's all on my, my channel earlier, so you can go ahead and uh, watch that. We're just going to get right into this. On Minecraft story mode. Good. So if you missed what happened in the third episode. A villain who can become anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a bow who's never exactly as he seems? Do you hide who you really are? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero. Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. Ooh, it's getting juicy, fellas. This game series adapts the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Wouldn't have it any other way. So is there some sort of forever storm down here? Something like that? Do we have everyone? Everybody safe? Yeah, everyone except Nerm. Duh, can't believe you left it behind for some useless llama. She's not some useless llama. Looks pretty useless to me. Nerm wanted to stay, Jack. You have to respect that. Well, you should have stopped him. Hmm. But it's true, he did want to stay. And we promised to take care of the llama. I've said it too many times. Right. There's a whole world down here. The first <laughs> created by us. What? Now Fred and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned. Before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? No way. This shadow. The view from up here. It used to be beautiful. So you say. It must be hard to see your world like this. How long have you been gone exactly? No idea. It's hard to keep track of the time and maximum security. Long enough for the world to change. I knew what Romeo planned to do. But still, seeing it like this. Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than I <laughs> Yeah, to cast people up from episode three. Because he was there when she explained who Romeo was. He was there. This is the room where he killed Fred. What? I watched it happen. We no refused way. to join him. It was... Slow. Oh, boy. I'm gonna stay silent. Learn to have a better poker face, sweetheart. Don't let him see your fear. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Here we go. Is that a rib cage? Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. Oh shoot! It saw us. Oh, quick time event, let's go. It would be great if I could go one day, just one day without seeing something new and completely terrifying. So that thing is another admin creating monstrosity. Time to move, guys. <gasps> so mesmerizing. Sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic. So big. Chloe. Go, go. Going. Ah! 
Jump. Jeez, how much fall damage can one person take? Whoa! Bigger Endermen can carry bigger things. Makes sense. What? You fall these kind of drops in real Minecraft, you die. Keep it going. What? Did you guys see? Jesse, we gotta go. Oh shoot, it was the guy from the last episode. After the credits were done rolling, the admin sent that guy after us to keep us in check, quote unquote. Oh, is it montage time? I think it's montage time. So this is nice. So I'll take this time to talk a little bit. <laughs> so um, the time of recording this is November 14th. So today... Jeez. I gotta turn this down a bit. Okay, I I'm sorry, I gotta turn this down a bit. I think that should be enough. Okay. So today was the day that Star Wars Battlefront 2 released for people who pre-ordered the game in which they can play it three days early. The, the full game actually completely releases on the 17th, but I'm, I'm able to play it three days earlier. I do plan on playing the story mode, I do plan on recording it, and I do plan on recording other multiplayer things in the future. I mean, you know, not asking for me, cause, cause I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are impressive. State-of-the-art machinery, automated farming, the Oasis is a completely self-sustaining city. The Oasis? Home? Listen, I didn't expect to go into Ready Player One over here, okay? The Oasis? No. That's copyright. Are you okay? I'm so sorry. I can only imagine if I saw Beacon Town like this. Save your pity. <laughs> this is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, get out of here, you fucking carpet. Eat yourself. You, uh, you okay there, Jack? No, this dumb stack of wool won't leave me alone. <laughs> Disgusting spin everywhere, not good for anything. No useful skills. Can't make maps. No sense of humor. A terrible conversationalist. I don't think the problem is with Luna, Jack. What? Don't you think this might be because you miss Nerm? I... Yeah, you're probably right. Sorry, Luna. We'll get Nerm back, Jack. I don't know how yet. We're not gonna forget him. Yeah, I... Uh... I appreciate that, Jesse. Years without sleep. Years. <laughs> Whoa. Rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there. I said. Zara. <sighs> Look at this. My bed. Come on. She's freaking out about a bed. Really. She can't respawn. She can't respawn because of the bed. This is real Minecraft physics. Her bed is gone, so now she can't respawn. I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. Oh. I'll never get it back now. He made sure. He 
won't get away with this. We'll get back at the admin for what he did. We'll avenge your, your... your bed. You really believe that, don't you? <laughs> okay. I guess I was wrong. Oh, uh, am I able to walk around now? Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? A portal. Broken now like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. Oh. oh. You want to destroy Romeo, don't you? Make him pay for what he did to you, your town? Then you have to get up. Not much use stuck down here. What about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. Sorry, if you built it once, you can build it again. You're the best inventor in the... underneath. Probably the only inventor now. Even better? I don't get it. Why don't you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. Why? Because the admin can't win, Zara. I won't let him. Not after everything he's done. If Fred's weapon can take him down, I'm gonna find it. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it right. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's key. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. Alright, good. Let's get some combat in. Alright, let's see. What kind of enemies are there? Alright, good. Let's just deal with the ones that are in front of me. Get in the way. Oh, shoot! I forgot about that. I forgot about the fact that spiders do that. Ooh, double hit. Unless we can find a way out of here, can't exactly go back up through that prison. Sara's got it covered. Creep, creeps, creep, creeps, creep, a creep, a creeps. Boom! Shabam! Whoopa! Get wrecked and. Yep, that gunpowder's gonna be useful later. I was about to say that. Oh, let's make it. We're going. We be going. Beneath, behind, and underneath. <clears throat> All right, sweet. It's okay. We're still okay, so long as it doesn't. Okay. No more track. Oh, we're gonna get separated. Jack. I'm okay. Girl, need to stop saying that. You two are in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to it, but the, what? Trouble. Yeah. Smells like admin. You don't know what an admin smells like. Sure do. Uh kinda sulfur. I don't think that's a word. Nope, no trouble here. Just two people hanging out. Yeah, you look like you're having a great time. <laughs> We've been scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. What? You know what? 
we can sniff out an outsider when we sniff him. So what are you doing all the way down what? here, small fry? Who even are they? We're here to take down the admin. <laughs> You're kidding. You can't even make it off this gravel cliff by yourself. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> He should be the one wearing the pig mask. We just walk away. Leave you here to die. The first one. Pick the first one. I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there. Pulling you up. Ugh, my arms are tired. So tired. Help us and we may surprise you. When's the last time you met someone new down here? Not a fan of surprises, especially since the last one. Things do get pretty boring down here, though. Yeah. <laughs> down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us, what with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. A warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat. Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords or splat? Flatter than the bottom of this canyon. Yeah, splat. Give your sword refuse their deal. Come on, come on. Just uh, some leverage. They're going to be more help later. I can do this all day. Or night, I suppose. Kind of the same thing. Uh. Yeah, well, that's disappointing. Yeah, we'll go our own way. Don't go playing heroes, squishies. Well, this dark squishy. Like, like you, real fast. Jack, Jesse! Jack! Eh, tried to tell ya. <laughs> Move out, ya stink bags! Alright, let's move it. Come on. Oh, no! <gasps> Wait, no! Wait. Oh, so we're separated now? I thought we were just gonna, like, fall down and have to, like, go around or find our own way, like he said. Sorry about your pal. Hope that sword was worth it. Wait, what? No, 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 no. He, no, no, he's not dead, is he? He's not dead. Jesse, uh, I'm so glad you're okay. No. Where's Jack? He didn't make it. No, 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 he's not dead. He's not dead. You don't ever make him dead. No, don't you dare make him dead. No. No. No, no, I refuse. I refuse. No. No, he's going to come back later. Guarantee you, he's going to come back later. He was gone. Did you see him land? Yes, we didn't see him land. Good, good. He can't be, Jesse. He, he'll be fine, right? Jack will be okay, buddy. He's got perfect muscle memory, remember? Bet he's had to dive off a cliff or two in his day. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you're you're right. That yes, that's that's totally right. That's totally right. Wait. What about Luna? What about her? She's a treasure sniffing llama, right? Treasure sniffing, not jack sniffing. I don't think Luna would be much help here. No, no, Jack's still alive. He's gonna meet back later. Strangers. What the heck? Strangers, Vita. What do we do here, Jesse? We come in peace. We're not gonna hurt you. I promise. We've been told that before. Fred, Fred, Fred believed it. Then he was stabbed in the back. 
Now what? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone, everyone in the underneath. Pinta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Yeah, let's just keep moving. They might be well armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with the fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition. For a chance to win one night in Fred's house. What? People, we can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at what? Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest. Does that seem a little silly? Is this like an entire city here? With a bunch of monsters. Hey, we just got here. We have no right to judge them. Okay, sorry. I think it's kind of nice. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Benta. I feel like I've heard your voice. Where you tell me why you're here. I feel like I've heard your voice before. Weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look. Fred's house is sacred and locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. Okay, so that's that's a common telltale thing. Fred, even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. You have to help me. This is important. I don't have to do anything for you, outsider. The door is locked until the contest is won. No amount of arguing will change that. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. I'm not breaking my promise to him. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I've, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. Oh, <gasps> free roaming. All right. No, I'm not going to pick it up. It's his. Is that a diamond mushroom? That's not a diamond mushroom, is it? Binta. Ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? Oh. Uh, not quite yet. Ah, gotcha. Dead bush. Poor thing had no chance of growing down here. Might still be useful though. But will I decimate his name by taking it? Nice. Oh. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot you got sticks from dead bushes. There's a better way into Fred's house than, well, studying, just in case. Kent, I guarantee you he's Fred. So, so you're the one, the one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. And I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. I think he's Fred. Like, f f from the second I saw him, he wins the contest every time. I feel like it's something Fred would do to hide from the admin, disguise himself as someone else. Hilda. Oh. Hi. Um. Oh, you want to know something about Fred? Uh, yeah. I have so heard that voice before. Ooh, a diamond hole. That's why I use two. You learned a Fred fact. Farming my mushrooms super, super seriously. Super serious. Cool. Yeah. Sure. Makes sense. Uh, bye. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright, what else is around here? Who can I talk to? House people, they don't react to me in any way. Oh, Cam! Please, please, don't hurt me, stranger. I did what you asked. Yeah, okay, don't freak out. Backing away. 
nice and non-threatening. Jeez. What is up with her? Very scared. Ooh. Ah. Hello, Radar. Kicking and punching a... Stump? Stick, I guess. Like water? In a bucket? Becomes the bucket. Nice moves, Radar. You've been practicing. Ah, well, thanks. I didn't know you were... Uh, just want to be ready. Anyway, the Oasis and Fred's Keep are all, you know, kind of broken. But I wonder what this place looked like before. Bet it was amazing. The admin's not going to do this to Beacon Town, is he? We have no idea what he's doing up there. It could be all gone, and we'd have no idea. It's up to us to protect them. The only thing standing between them and the admin. And we will. We'll make sure nothing bad happens to them. Look, if there's one thing I learned in the Slammer, it's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, and a half. Uh, hey, Luna, come give me a, give me a hook. Uh, weight resistance, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, baby, feel that burn. Oh, feel it. <laughs> it's so stupid, but it's amazing. Ooh, punch. Am I gonna craft a diamond hull? I think I'm gonna craft a diamond hull. I can definitely use these. Maybe able to craft diamond hull. I don't know. Four sticks, five gunpowder. What can sticks and gunpowder make? I don't know. Willy, hi. How you doing? Hey there. I'm looking for information about Fred. This here was Fred's cherished pet, but you'll never guess his name. Never. You stay in there now. Don't want that doll getting you now, do we? How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? Ah. Okay, I'm gonna take the bone and throw it into the chicken pen. Okay, Wanda. Hi. How you doing? I paint with his feet. Hmm. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Taught myself to paint like this. But these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. Oh, I can do that. Some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done, prop light. I'm on a roll, and this one's almost finished. You got it. All right, Fred's favorite color. Ooh, I'm gonna look at the poster. Man, Fred had blue skin and looks kind of weird. Nah, just a little creepy. <laughs> but anyway, talk to Wanda. Can I talk to her again? What'll happen? That canvas done? Uh, not yet. Don't you waste those resources I gave you. Sacrifice my hands to get them. Hmm. Okay, and before I do the whole bone thing, I'd rather just crap this first. All right, a canvas. To make a, painting. a canvas. I have a feeling, just because I conveniently have eight sticks, because I'll be honest, I have no idea how to make a canvas. So... Oh, I was right. Let's go ahead and show recipes for fun. Uh, yes, I was right. It was too convenient. Too convenient, I tell you. Here you go. All done. It's just lovely. I am going to paint this Fred's favorite color. Not just any blue. Lapis blue. Lapis blue. Oh. Alrighty then. Dude, overshare much? And her too? <laughs> okay. Diamond hoe, lapis blue. Cool. And now I'm going to pick up the bone and throw it in there. Gotta get the dog. You are, wow, you are really cute. I know. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> play fetch with, fake out, send after chicken. I'm going to play fetch with. Whoa.
That was pretty close to the edge. Uh, what's Fake Out gonna do? Okay, alright. I assume Fake Out will do something f funny or fun. His name is Blocko. If somehow he is unable to go after the chicken with the bone, if somehow he isn't able to go after the chicken after I fake out, I'm going to restart. Let's play fetch with him now and see how he reacts. Okay, he does it. That's interesting. So so what did Fake Out do? Okay. Also, um, if Jack is really dead, I will be restarting this thing. Okay, you see that chicken? He loves playing chase. Go get him. Wait, what? That worked? Hmm. What? What does that have to do with anything? Oh, I could do the bone again. But I won't. I'm gonna do the contest now because there's no one else to talk to. Ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? Yes, I am ready. I have learned Fred facts. Do this. Let's go. I was not to talk to you, so I'm gonna just keep going. Gather around, everyone. Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion Kent, and we have a challenger. Uh... Jesse, it's Jesse. Jesse. That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. Comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! Kent. Be my best friend! You got this, Jesse! <laughs> Don't let him intimidate you! May the most faithful friend of Fred win. Oh, I will. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin! Whoa, this is a big canvas. All right, all right, all right. Um, This way. Ah, oh, I can only build up until here. I can't build out here beyond this. All right, so I can only do his face. I will only do his face. All right. Uh, let's do it. Uh, this way. All right. Blue clay. I mean, I, I can't build any more over here. If I would, I'd make it more detailed. What the heck? Well, if you were gonna do that... What the heck? Is that huge thing right there. Um, okay then, let's, uh, let's do this. Alright. Alright, that's nice. I just have to play for that. Crap. Yep. Oh, what? You gotta give me a break. I'm not working with much here. Okay. 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 
There we go. Yes. Let me check what the other guy's doing again. I just want to see it. What's the other guy doing again? Yeah, it's facing the crowd. Yes. Nice. Yeah, I'm done. Yes. Yes. Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred is <laughs> It's so stupid. Fred, that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Yes. So, I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. Oh, I forgot about the nose. I didn't see the nose. This round, a draw. What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he huh. love the most? This is pretty convenient. It's very convenient because I learned that just a few seconds ago. Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? He's gonna get this wrong and I'm gonna have to answer for him. Diamond hole. Oh, okay then. Very good. Jesse, Fred had a constant companion, a fine feathery friend. What was that pet's name? It was a chicken named Benedict once. <laughs> Waffles. Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. That <laughs> is correct. Jesse, well done. Yay. Rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. <sighs> Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. I... It is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Okay. Don't know if I'll know this one, but I got it. All the wood... <gasps> yes! This was Fred's favorite. What was it? We heard it from earlier. Favorites with resources. Yes. Yes. I know this. I know this answer. Yes. 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 Cause um, cause she Zara told us earlier. Yes. You aren't. You will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. You know, Kent did a great job out there. He, he should have the uh, sleeping garments. What solos did you wear? You would she win. Said, depending on. I don't um, need your pity prize. The type of event. Yeah. Here's an idea. Is, no one gets them. One How about one that? Man. Jesse. There must have been some special reason he had a close connection to this. Okay. All right, we are in Fred's house. Okay, if I were a man of some sort. 
Under the bed. Wait a minute. Jump on. <laughs> For all we know, it is on the bed. But, um, actually, I am just about out of time over here. So, um, well, we are going to leave off in Fred's house where we need to find the weapon that can take out Romeo or the evil admin. So, anyway, if you like what you see here, you can like, comment, share, and subscribe for more Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 and more videos other in the of other content in the future. Even though, like, 90% of my videos are all Minecraft Story Mode. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a comment. Tell me what was your favorite part. But more importantly, comment down, did you give up the sword? Did you give up the sword to save you and Jack from falling? To save Jack from falling? And I promise you, if he died because of that, I am done. I'm restarting the episode. Not even joking. Not even joking. Not even joking. I w I'm not having Jack die. I already had... Wait, did someone else die? There was a choice that I didn't particularly like because I didn't know... I don't know what it was. Anyway, comment down below what you would have done. And uh, I guess that's about it. So, thank you all for watching. This is Green Ninja Gamer, signing off.